What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudorleonte for SureDog.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with Bellator MMA lightweight fighter, Mr. Chris Gonzalez. Hello, sir. How are you today? Uh, doing good. Just finished up uh, some training. Uh, got over our technical difficulties with the computer. So it's, uh, it's good to be here with you, brother. It's good to have you here. I'm glad you overcome all the adversities. But uh, how was your morning session? It was good. Uh, today was Wednesday, so we had uh, sparring today. Um, went in a little bit early, did some uh, mobility and uh, some light muscle activation stuff with my strength and conditioning coach. Um, got some solid rounds in with some high-level guys, and then uh, <clears throat> did a little bit of heart rate training after that. And um, yeah, and here we are now. Uh, who are some of your main sparring partners today? Yeah, so usually I've been training with uh, Mason Jones. He's been one of the main training partners for me during this camp. Um, he's a lightweight in the UFC. Um, Kaleo Romero has been a big part of my camp. This go around, he's actually fighting on the Contender Series the Tuesday after my fight. Um, so he's he's an up-and-coming star that uh, you know that's looking to make a statement and get his opportunity come that Tuesday after my fight week. Um, those are probably two of the main main guys, Gaston Bolaños, um, down at Combat Sports Academy in Dublin. So, um, you know, I got, I got a ton of other guys at the gym that I work on any given basis too. Right now you're scheduled to face uh, Usman Nurmagomedov at Bellator 283 on July the 22nd. Are you thrilled to be testing your wrestling background against one of the Nurmagomedov dynasty? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't really. They're quite a bit different. I I like to think uh, Khabib is obviously more of the the wrestling dominant Nurmagomedov out of the family. Uh, so it seems this one seems a little to be a little bit more uh, striking, happy. But anytime you get to go in there and compete against uh, Nurmagomedov, regardless of which one it is, it's it's a big opportunity to display my skill set. So I'm looking forward to being able to do that for you guys. And yeah, of course, but I mean, considering that they've been training together for ages, uh, at least, you know, an idea of wrestling, uh, even Usman has it. Let's put it like this. Yeah, no, no, of course. Any, <laughs> any Nurmagomedov is going to know how to wrestle, right? <laughs> like, I, it's, it's, it's just in their blood, at least you would think. Um, so it's, it's, it's a big stage. It's a big opportunity. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And we're looking forward to watching you compete against him. Um, who is going to be in your corner for this fight? Yeah, so for this fight, uh, I'm going to have Danny Castillo as my head corner. Um, he's, he's always going to be the head corner for me. He'll be there. He's, he's a veteran himself. Um, I'm also going to have uh, Coach Mao from Peru who works with us over at Combat Sports Academy as well. He'll be my striking coach. And then I'll have my strength and conditioning coach there with me too. Um, Amadeo uh, Novella. So those will be my three cornermen uh, for this fight. Uh, Nurmagomedov is currently the number three ranked in the lightweight division. Um, I mean, if, in case of victory, how high do you expect to be ranked? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to say, you know, he got a, he got a top three ranking fighting bottom tier fighters so I feel like it's really at this point kind of a popularity contest uh so uh you know hopefully I go in there I, I dominate the fight and I crack the top five you know I feel like I'm knocking on the door of a title shot you know if these rankings are legitimate as I like to think they are but it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to say they are when you know he hasn't really faced any of the the top tier competition um and you know that's nothing against him he's 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 beat the guys that they put in front of him and he's He's beat him dominantly. So, uh, you know, I'm going in there treating this like he is the number three fighter, uh, which he currently is, um, regardless of whether or not, you know, he's fought the top competition. I fight every fight that I go into, I'm preparing as if I'm fighting, fighting the world champion. So um, hopefully, you know, I get this one and I crack the top five. You mentioned it, but uh, I'd like to hear from you. How far do you think that you are from a title shot in case of victory? I mean, one fight, two fights. How, how much are you expecting to be competing again? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was really thinking one fight, but now with Pitbull pulling out of his fight with Sydney Outlaw and Tofik kind of filling in, and with Tofik having um, 
already had beaten Pitbull, you know, I feel like the winner of that fight's also going to be knocking on the door for, for that title shot too. So if not after this one, you know, I'd say two more at most. I understand. Right now you're coming off a magnificent first round KO against Sa uh, Saad Awad. Uh, how good was to score your fastest victory to date? Yeah, you know, it was awesome. Uh, that's that's the ideal way to finish a fight. Go in there and get out unscathed and uh, being able to get back to training right away is, is an ideal scenario. You know, that doesn't that's not going to happen more often than not. Um, you know, I love that I was able to go out there and showcase, uh, you know, some other tools that I have in my toolbox outside of the grappling side of things. So, um, you know, this fight, I'm looking looking forward to being able to mix it up uh, some more and showing you guys, you know, what else what else I have to offer. And I'm guessing here that it was even sweeter for you, considering that you are bouncing off your first loss in your professional career. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, in, in this sport, you got to have you got to have a short memory. Uh, you know, it's, it's unforgiving the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. You know, it only takes one shot in MMA. It's 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 you know, you, you don't have 12 to 16 ounce gloves on. It's, it's four ounce gloves. A shin bone to the head bone. Usually, if that lands, that that's going to be it. Especially from an explosive athlete like myself. Um, so it was it was nice to go in there and uh, get back in in the winter circle. Now that the clash between uh, Patrick Pitbull and Cine Outlaw has uh, been scratched off the card, Bellator 283 is headlined by the clash between Douglas Lima and uh, Jason Jackson. I'd like to hear your pick for that fight. Yeah, you know what? I haven't really paid too much attention to that fight, to be honest with you. I've been uh, hyper focused on, you know, what I have, what I have in front of me, which is a big opportunity in itself. Uh, Jason Jackson is a hell of a fighter. I feel like, you know, a couple of years ago, not many people knew who he was, and he's just kind of made it hard for people not to, you know, give him the respect that that he deserves. He's beat some of the top guys in the division. Um, but then you got Douglas Lima on the other hand. I mean, everybody knows who he is. Uh, he's he's dangerous everywhere. Obviously, his striking is where he's most comfortable. Um, it's 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 really hard to say. I don't really have a prediction for that fight. I think it's going to be a war, uh, regardless. I don't see anybody getting finished. Both of these guys are top notch, and I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. I'm pretty sure it it will be, and I'm pretty sure your fights is going to be as well. Um, listen, since you have been focusing rightfully on your upcoming uh, opponent, um, how do you expect this fight to go down? Yeah, kind of like I just said in uh, when you, with the last question, I go into every fight expecting a 15-minute war. Um, you know, whether or not that's the case or not remains to be seen. Uh, my last fight, I expected a 15-minute war. You know, I'm, I'm training my ass off. I'm sure he is too. So um, I never go in there expecting to dog walk anybody. You know, if that happens, great. If it doesn't, I'm more than prepared for that. But, uh, you know, I just see myself going in there and asserting my game plan. I'm not going to reveal too much of what that is. But, uh, you know, I see myself going in there and, and getting the job done. That's fair enough. I wasn't going to insist anyway about, you know, about your game plan. Have you already picked your walkout song? Uh, yeah, I've got something in mind. May I ask, what is it that you like to listen before walking into the cage? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it, it just it depends on the fight and the the scenario. I feel like fighting fighting a Russian, it's only right to come out to some to some Rocky. <laughs> so, uh, so I think that's what we'll be coming out to. <laughs> that's great. I can't wait to hear it. Um, Chris, I finished my questions. Do you have any last messages? No, just uh, make sure you guys tune in uh, July 22nd. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Looking forward to putting on a show for you guys. Thank you. Best of luck with your upcoming fight. And hopefully I will hear again from you in the future. Thank you, brother. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.